So it started out in a rental house in downtown Tuscaloosa where they cooked soup at the church's kitchen and then took it to the house and then served soup every day. Five days a week, we served lunch. And then on the weekends, on sun Saturday and Sunday, we have weekend teams that come in. We provide uh, hot lunch every day. We provide um, extra breads to take away. We provide extra food to take with them. Um, because everything that comes in is theirs. We serve between three and 400 a day. Um, it just really depends on what time of the month it is. The beginning of the month, we're a little bit slower. We pick up a little bit more in the middle of the month, and by the end of the month, we're, we're serving close to 400, if not 400. We are the only soup kitchen in town, and so we're strategically located where a lot of people can walk, ride their bikes, um, take public transportation here. We try to make it more like a restaurant feel than a soup kitchen. And, you know, they're like everybody else. They want to be respected and not looked down upon as they are someone in need that needs our help. With food prices, inflation on the rise, uh, it's going to really be interesting to see what happens. We've, I've noticed probably about 25% lately are new people that are coming in um, that have never used our services before. We struggle to try to make ends meet a lot of times with our food. We have to be really conscious and aware of how much we spend, what we can do to really make our money last. Because again, being on grants and donations, you don't always know how much money you're gonna have. So I can't thank them enough for uh, the gift that they have given us and just the wonderful things it'll bring to us, just better food, better resources. It, it's just a wonderful gift and, and it's life changing for us.